Hello and welcome back to the Beer Dog Reviews. As always, I'm Chris and today we've got our final trip off to Germany in this little bit. And we're having a look at Hjever Pilsner. There it is. This one comes in at 4.9%. Got a standard green bottle of a German Pilsner. There's the crown. Just got the uh, brewery name there. Let's have a look and see what it's like. Not really any smoke to speak of on the opening. Get it out and into a glass. Now I do have a nucleated glass here, so it might create a bit of a overflowing head, so we'll not quite fill the glass. Oh, there we go. Can I get the whole bottle in? So, strong carbonation on this pale gold, almost yellow, definite lagery looking beer. Barely any head to speak of, half a finger, white head, it's quite compact. Carbonation is flowing freely there. A bit of chill haze on my glass because obviously, being a person, I have chilled it right down. Well, you can just about see that. There it is. Let's have a look at the aroma. Now, you are getting the classic aromas there it's lemon, lemon peel, a bit of spicy pepperiness. Not too much malt. It smells like a Pilsner. And it looks like a Pilsner. Let's have a look at the taste. First thing I notice is extremely crisp. So refreshing. You do get that lemony flavour right at the start. a mild biscuity malt flavour coming in the middle but then you have a real heavy peppery bite to it a little bitterness mmm it's a classic pilsner there's literally nothing to dislike there. It's what I call a, a Ron Seal beer. It does exactly what it says on the tin. <sighs> hmm. Slightly thin bodied. Bit of lemon. Bit of malt, bit of spice. Yep. It's exactly what you expect from a good German Pilsner. Now, I've not had this before. I do apologise if my pronunciation is not quite where it should be. Jever Pilsner. Let's have a look at the bottle and see if it has anything there. Everything here is in German. Yep. All I can pick up is a herby character. Yeah, I'd go with that. Let's move up. 
bin mehr wertfrei finden. Unfortunately, my German is a, a little rusty, to say the least. But, it's a good bit. It's certainly better than all of your commercially available lagers. It's better than some of the more craft lagers I've had. I could enjoy that. Be nicer on a hot sunny day of course, but you can't have everything, can you? For me, that's a, a big thumbs up there. It's a nice, decent pilsner. So, cheers to you all. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe down there. As always, I'll pop the links for my Facebook, my Twitter and my Instagram right down there in the description. And I'll see you all again next time. Happy drinking.